Cool, so this is my writing project for the summer. I've, I've been asked to write a chapter for an open education resource textbook on biological anthropology, which uh, doesn't seem to be a super good one out there right now, so it'd be nice to get, get one out there that college courses can use. So my chapter is Modern Homo Sapiens, uh, and today we're just setting up, I'm um, looking at Scrivener, which is a, a word processing program that I hear is really good for, what's it called? Writing, uh, writing lots of stuff, like big projects. Uh, so I think this definitely qualifies. And I've gone through the tutorial uh, and it seems pretty easy to use. But I probably have to look up stuff along the way. Today I'm just setting stuff up. I already made a new document so it shows up on Twitch. Uh, textbook chapter 2. It's not the most original, but it works. And looking at this blank screen, I gotta fill it up with stuff. For example, and bring in some of the things that I know I'm going to need. Like the style guide that uh, the editors have provided to me. I think I can just drag this in here. There we go. A lot of useful information about what exactly I'm doing here and how to make it look nice. Uh, standard units. So we see here, there's one I need that not nope not mentioned here. I don't need picograms, but uh, it'd be nice to have a standard uh, time abbreviation for thousands of years ago and millions of years ago. There's various ways of writing that. So now the style guide's there under the research section. I can reference that as I go. Uh, before this point, uh, we had to write uh, first a proposal. Uh, for what we want to write about, and then also a detailed outline to, again, let the editors know what we, we intend for this chapter. And it's good to do, uh, for this point now, uh, for us to move on uh, and use this outline and other uh, prep work stuff to, to organize our writing of, of the real thing. So I'm going to add those as well. I'm going to find them on my computer. I think easiest way, I wrote them in pages is before I heard of or got Scrivener. But I'm going to make a new research thingy. New text. And I'll show you this hopefully is copy and paste. Put in my outline. Here we go. I mess with the spacing so it's a more readable. Point two. So a little zoom it in so people can actually see what's going on. So this is the outline I wrote before, uh, and uh, in a little bit I'm gonna make a new uh, section mini document in, within this big Scrivener document for each of these sections uh, so I can hop from one to the other with ease uh, without having to scroll around trying to find if I want to write something about scientific progress in action I don't have to search through the whole textbook chapter and be like uh, I have no idea where it, where it went to after typing all the other stuff. Yeah, so it's gonna make, make it a, because this is not for printing, but it's for my own reference. It'd be nice if it were bigger and easier to read. That works. All right, I'm gonna rename this. I think we were it, we, we were pretty clear that we we're working on a chapter, so let's call this outline. And there's another part to this document uh, when uh, we were writing these outlines. I want the other one is a an illustration section, so I'm gonna put that in a new. Oof, uh, let's look at the illustrations I I had uh, set up, and put them into another thing in this research file 
folder area text paste and the images didn't come through from pages it's okay i don't need those need those uh, and grab those if uh, if i really do want to look at my sample illustrations but the table came through so that's good i uh, us show you this uh, I was writing the illustrations and it's kind of more kind of a wish list. I don't expect all of these to make it into the, my textbook chapter, uh, but it's the things that I think are kind of required to be in the, in the chapter about modern Homo sapiens. Uh, and then a few things that come up when I teach this in, in my introductory course that I think are good illustrations, but are, are not critical. It's like, for example, one of the Less critical ones is the image from the video Far Cry Primal. Uh, this is tied into something that why our reason why we care about this stuff is it shows up uh, in our present day pop culture and it's good to have a, an informed view of things. And I can go on and on about Far Cry Primal. I, I have actually is is a YouTube yeah. Yeah, not much education went into the actual YouTube video, but I, I live streamed Far Cry Primal for a while, uh, but no footage now exists of that. Uh, and I gladly reinstall and uh, provide a screenshot uh, if, uh, if they allow me to. Okay, so illustrations, and it's been intelligently named illustrations already, so that's good. Uh, so then I'll do what I said I was going to do before and turn this outline into a bunch of uh, mini documents uh, under the draft section here in, in the sidebar. So I'm going to do this cool thing. This something I wish Apple Pages did. Uh, I think, let's see, the, I think the predecessor might have done it. iWork might have done it. I think Microsoft Word might have. Uh, I think Word definitely did this. Or it might still do it, but I abandoned Word, which is split the view. So I, mean, like, I have two independent frames to uh, to work off of. So and I keep one being the outline, and then I can make, I think, uh, I actually haven't used Scrivener uh, in real life. I can turn this uh, into the, the new document. So and they already provided one. Uh, and this part is supposed to be just the the colorful introduction to uh, to the chapter. It's called introduction. So they well, let's see. I just paste the text I have there, and then I think I can call this introduction. Uh, because they don't want it called introduction in real in the real document so uh, instead of having to do it and then undo it and then forget to do it later this is the easiest way so everybody gets uh, what we want all right and then when the time comes to write it uh, we can uh, write over this or write under it to remember what this the whole point of this section is all right, looking good. One section down. Let's see, so next is this, uh, the first big part of my chapter. I intend is called defining uh, modernity. I'm talking about what traits are actually uh, in modern Homo sapiens compared to uh, other humans that used to exist but no longer uh, are around. So let's see. Uh, whoops, not research. But draft. Draft is where the actual writing uh, ends up. Or research is stuff that won't make it to the final product. So I'll call this folder Defining Modernity. Now we go through this and sorry for the chewing sounds. This this the snowball mic is really good at picking up my chewing sounds. Not even chewing sounds, but I'm just it's my talking slurpy sounds. Okay, so then there I make a section called cranial traits. See, so yeah, and then these subcategories, I put them in here. The 
just to remind me what this is about later on. Let's see, like another one called postcranial gracility. The sound of that. Oops, I think I just did something weird. Oh, uh, the back button, yes. Yeah. That tutorial really helped. Yeah, it was uh, the back button, like a web browser. I could hop backwards. Oh, and postcranial gracility has its own little blurb. So I think I can put that there. Or let's see, let's hop to this view. Wait. I messed it up again. I want that to be the outline and I'll mess with the top one. Define modernity. Uh, I think this is where I can put in like a blurb and it won't make it into the actual document. All right. So that's useful as well, except I can't see it in this view. Nor that view. I can see in that view. Hmm. Hmm. Think about that. Also, you hear a little squeaky squeaky sound. That's my cheap gaming mouse. It's a mouse with LEDs. It lights up when I'm trying to sleep for some reason. But anyway, where was I? Okay, and then the third section is called Behavioral Modernity. And these titles are negotiable. Uh, See later on they get a little silly, but it might change. They might stay the same. Okay, I get my get my two pins in order there. Oh, and there's a blurb for this as well. All right, and then one of the sillier titles, First Africa, Then the World. And close the modernity and add another folder for this second part. Making sure uh, I'm where I am in the, in the outline there. Came out in all caps. To find my dirty did not end up in all caps somehow. I guess I write it myself. Did I copy it from somewhere. I'm not sure what happened. That was like two minutes ago. Now change it to normal caps for now. I think the in the official version they do want all caps, but uh, this uh, Scrivener has a thing where. It'll, it'll make the official version different from your draft. So actually I have a thing here. I don't think you can see the menus I'm working with, but you can do initial caps of words. It's a service built into the, the computer. Not sure the words then and the are capitalized, but I'll, just, I'll leave that for now and move on to other things. So within this part two, I can add the other sections. I started modern Homo sapiens in Africa. I have a problem working on the focus of these panes. Also, I gave up on periods in this part of the outline. Oh, and they come back there, so I guess we're going to stick with the thing. Make it consistent, even though no one will ever see that. Let's see. I think if I do this, can I get new text. Yo, this, so like, this will help me a lot. 
And I can just put all this stuff into these little note cards here. And italics doesn't work for there. No problem. Let's see. Let's come in and get me a new yes. Greatly increasing my productivity. Eastward expansion. Yeah, I first see some work on these titles later to consolidate them because some of them are because play it straight and then some of them are kind of a reference to things like westward expansion but this time it's eastward expansion euro trip this is a reference to like a movie from the 2000s so these titles uh, are gonna get adjusted so they have a consistent theme maybe they'll all be movie titles in the 2000s See, Eurochip actually has, uh, well, and put the subtitles in here. So there's nothing actually in the Eurotrip file. It's all, all metadata. I kind of like that. I'm going to go back and do that with the cranial traits. And these, oh, uh, these dotted lines here, these are all empty documents, the three things in defining modernity. So uh, when each section actually has text, it'll be in these sections. But right now there's nothing in there. so. Uh, well, the things I took in there or were in there, I, I took them out. Let's see, I couldn't get a line break there. Nope, that's oh, shift uh, return got me a new document. Not sure that's faster than command n, but I'll file that away. I'm sure I'm getting a, a line break naturally, though I got one for here. Okay, this is going to be weird. Cut this, put it there. Cut. I think it's not going to cut it, but I'll cut it. Put it there. Okay, now I got my line break somehow. Okay, next section. So I just copy and paste everything. And my Siri just activated. Hi Siri. My, my, my phone's uh, other Siri just activated. Okay, I got, got what I wanted out of there. Crossing to Australia. In Africa. Yeah, in this section, part two, it's a, uh, even, I got comments back about this from the editors and they said, it's, it's a lot and it is, a lot. Uh, it's trying to find a good way to organize all this stuff because it wasn't, you know, as what I guess we'll talk more about it as I'm writing these sections, but as modern Homo sapiens expanded out of Africa, 
Uh, there were still African Homo sapiens, not like everyone just got up and left. Uh, so the way I handle it in the outline is top of Africa at first uh, and expanding to other places in the world and coming back and say, hey, you know, stuff happening in Africa still as uh, new people were doing stuff in, in other parts of the world. We'll see how that actually works out. Now reference to, I guess, a 60s movie now. They have two movie references, uh, several plain titles. I'm gonna turn Meemaw back in Africa into his lyrics from the song Africa, I think. I think they're almost there. Meanwhile, bless the people back in Africa, I don't know. We'll think about that. Okay. Now the West Side Story, it's a little odd because the people are expanding east, ending up in our western hemisphere because of the Eurocentric naming. So that, that might go, and that's a high chance of going. Yeah. Of the continent, so the rest is not. Okay. And then at the end, uh, just to get kind of the overall theory to more succinctly explain what exactly happened. Uh, put at the end of all this, I think it's useful. Some people put it at the front, saying this is a simulation model, uh, and. You know, these are the details. I think it's good to go here at the details, you know, check out all the things people did, and then here's the old, like the big zoom out, big picture view of, of, of what this all looks like. But again, we'll see how that works. As I'm writing this, I'll be like, it is, I can't, I can't make this work, and I'll just I'll do it the other way. And this is where the Far Cry stuff may show up. Uh, talking is this something I also mentioned in my uh, classroom class, my introductory class, and they in, in, like thinking about just brainstorming like the things where cavemen, prehistoric humans show up in popular culture, like crudes. Um, there's one like the, by the Wall, Wallace and Gromit people that just came out. I think it's called Prehistoric Man. Uh, there's always something in production. I guess the movie 10,000 BC vaguely qualifies as kind of very, very loose. And, uh, and actually, a lot of comics. There's a comic I just read, uh, the DC comic, uh, Justice League of America, where it involves a very, uh, let's say, uninformed view of the past. Uh, this time traveling villain Kronos, he's assembled an army of warriors from across human history and prehistory. Uh, somehow talking with everybody. I'm not sure how the he found samurai and they uh, and they're communicating in English, uh, but and also like prehistoric people. He felt were a good part of his military forces, along with Roman like gladiators and stuff. Uh, so interesting. This very outdated view of the past. It shows up in a comic in like 2018. Anyway, the highlight section, it's one of those little sidebars in textbooks. Might do another one about some you know, some researcher, might see who I know who are cool and want to do like a little interview. I don't know how many, how, never, okay, never written a textbook chapter before. Uh, so it's kind of new stuff to me. Not sure how much I could change this. Uh, especially big things like, oh, here's a new section about a thing I never I didn't even think about when I made the outline, but we'll see. We'll, we'll work that out. So anyway, yeah, in the, my little blurbs, how about Far Cry Primal? Uh, actually, a pretty, they, they tried. Like, they had to take some liberties with the past, uh, but uh, they did go out of their way in some areas, too. 
make things at least kind of ref- based upon scientific research, though maybe given a, a video game twist. Okay, so that's part two. First Africa in the world. Close that. I'm going to make the last section in the draft. It's called Chain Effect of Agriculture. Let's type it out. Sorry for the typey sounds. Okay. Oops. Then I can sort of bust out some note card chapter thingies. Yeah, so Chain Effect of Agriculture. I'm particularly proud of that title because uh, it, talks, it involves certain things, uh, important things. One is that it is a chain effect where uh, the invention of agriculture caused a lot of changes to the lives of most people at this point around the world. So it's, it's a chain effect that, that really altered ourselves and our history. Uh, and also it led to like slavery. So. You know, is a little bit about is 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 not all good uh, that it, it did lead to some things in in the historical and modern world that are like eh. and then culture effect. Agriculture. That's where not sure what I was gonna say. Okay. So yeah, so in some heavy but important topics. As you know, this is a you know, the, the world we live in is very unusual for our species and with the consequences that another chapter is going to talk about, the health consequences of agriculture, and one more about the cultural changes with agriculture. Includes inequality, dumping on foragers, like people who remain foragers, and then using their poor status to reinforce like their Injustice, the bad stuff. Okay, what section are we in? Why agriculture? Agriculture affects agriculture. Recent times. Yeah, what level of organization is that? I'm going to zoom out and I can't see the outline. I think this would be part five. Like that. See, this all come in as I'm just like copy this down here. I'm still four. I think this copied as a woof. Like that? No. I think it, it copied losing its uh, outline instructions. It came in just as text. Okay. This section again might be pared down as I write and be like, guys, I don't have enough words to do all this stuff, but this is the plan as it exists today. This last conclusion section. So I make a top level text. Include a couple of boop boops. Conclusion. I copy. Nope. 
Yes. Oh yeah, I did copy it. Okay, new discoveries all the time. All right, so this is the main uh, structure of my chapter. How do I close it? Click on it. Yes. Oop, I got rid of the wrong thing. Working with the focus of these things. So this is the whole structure of the textbook chapter and the introduction, conclusion, and different parts. Oops. Ah, uh, okay, that's the actual inside text. I'm gonna. Just wondering why they're slightly different colors. There we go. All right. Yeah, and see all the. That's a lot of parts. We'll see how that goes. Other outline view. Cool. All right, I'm pretty happy we've gone this far. How long has it been? 35 minutes? Hmm, I think I'll stop here. This would be a good first pod. Oh yeah, that's the title that came from there. Oh my god, it looks, it's useful, it looks different than the hand-typed title, but I also don't like it. Think about that. See other things going on. Oh, I should put other things in research while I'm here. Uh, see, we're doing things in... Chicago style, so I have a you know, I, have, I have a style guide for a, a bunch of them. What if I'm gonna go online and look for just a Chicago style? I'm pretty sure you can't see my web browser. But you have to trust me that this is working. Chicago. So then I can put this, if I find a downloadable Chicago style, I can put it into the research section and then because it, that's what's being broadcasted on, like it's picking up uh, the Scrivener window, then you can see, you, you can read it too. Okay, it got a cool web page. It'd be cool, cooler if it were a PDF. So I'm, I'm already distracted. Section type. Heading or section? I don't know what that did. I'm scared. Okay, turn that in. Okay, these are all headings. Now. Roll with that. I think I can always turn it back if that's not what I wanted. Go try to find a PDF. I guess it's, to keep it as a web page, it looks like a lot. A lot of formatting instruction. Log in, I have to pay for this? Mm -hmm. I find a 
quick and easy one. is Ohio State the Ohio State excuse me yeah the it's all so like this one's all about bibliography could be useful I actually don't need so much bibliography info because I have a program called bookends that's gonna do it for me or at least automate a lot of the formatting download this may be useful yeah see it's a general style like what font to use and what page numbers look like Still looking for it. Yeah, I think the the comparison guide I got from Owl Purdue University. How useful that is. Yeah, it's all about references. Well, we'll abandon that for now. Also drop this thing in here. This is the the web page link. There it goes. This is the original call for authors for this open access biological anthropology textbook. Yes, I'm just reading off the web page. So this is good information, this general stuff about the, the main mission. Keep that in there. Also, it's a very nice uh, blog. Okay. All right, I think this is a good time to call it a day. So we set up the framework, set up a new document in Scrivener, using Scrivener for the first time, and worked out some things. So next time in, uh, like, should just hit the introduction. There's going to be. Let's see, how do you view that little? You view the little blurb. There it is. And notes. That'll be useful. So I should keep this open. Oh, you can't see it. Hold on. It's slightly more present. Two percent. Yes. Yeah, so I forgot this whole side thing existed. This would be useful as well. I keep an eye on the mission while I uh, work on other stuff. Cool. So that is next time. Uh, and hopefully this works out. See ya.